Hi, everyone. My name is Natalie Borges, and I can say now Emerald Brand Ambassador. I've been waiting to say that for a long time. Um, I am so, so excited to share my story with you all tonight. Um, this is a long time coming uh, for our family, and that's why I use the picture of my kids for the graphic. Um, because it has been a really long time coming for us. And I, um, before I even, I mean, I literally switched my desk around so that you guys can see my little, like, it's my senior Ruby certificate. And I've had this empty frame here since the summer because I knew that there'd be an emerald certificate in this frame. And so I just want to um, say that my journey has looked, um, it's, it's looked like a lot of ups and downs, and I'm just really excited to be sharing that with you guys tonight. Um, first, I just need to thank God because God gave me this vision of doing this business, of, <clears throat> of being here. And if it weren't for God, I would not be in here because I, I, I don't draw empowerment from myself. Um, I am not, I say this to my team all the time, like, you know, we can do all this personal development, but there comes a time where we just, we need the grace of God to empower us. Um, and so I am not my own empowerment. God has truly empowered me to do this and to endure. And that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. We're going to be talking about endurance and we're going to talk about envisioning yourself um, where you want to be and doing things like this where you put up an empty frame because you just believe in your heart without of a doubt that it's going to happen. It's just the timing is not, is not when we want it, it but it's truly um, timing is everything. Timing is everything. So I wanted to start with that. Um, I've learned, um, you know, in the last two years in 2020, um, I, like wrote it in my phone. I was just telling, um, you know, some people on my team, like I had this graphic on my phone and it was just stay in your own lane. Like that was, that was my reminder to just continue to work on myself. I knew that I can be an emerald. I knew that, but I knew that there were things I really had to work on in order to be in this place. Does that make sense? I needed things. It wasn't, just that I wasn't following up, right? It was like, there's a belief thing happening here that I needed to work on. And I did that. 2020, I started doing intense counseling. Uh, 2021, I did a lot of inner healing. Um, things that were just um, really, it was hard for me to see sometimes myself, you know, walking down this stage, right? This stage that we always talk about when they, you know, the, all the emeralds go up and the sapphires and the diamonds. And I, I could, I, I could like feel it, but I couldn't see it. And so I, I, I was always so frustrated and I just started doing a lot of work with poverty mindset and really trying to conquer this poverty mindset and this scarcity of like, well, could I, you know, are there enough people like, you know, could I do this anytime you're asking yourself, there are enough people or is there space for you? Um, that's scarcity and that's poverty mindset. And I grew up and I was just in my, you know, my hometown uh, this weekend. And it was just so amazing to be there and to see, you know, the work that I've been able to do um, in my own personal life, because I grew up not having much you know, and I grew up, you know, where you, you just get a nine to five and you work really hard. And all of this entrepreneurship stuff was not something that was ever presented to me. And so I had to do a lot, a lot of work in this area. Um, but like I was saying, this business is all about endurance and endurance. <laughs> you have to embrace that perseverance. You have to endure. Um, and I do have some notes because I know that if I can just, I'll just go off and I'll just start ranting, but um, endurance is so important because um, we live in a culture that embraces and that endorses instant gratification. If it doesn't 
feel good, then, you know, it's not for you. You know, if it's hard, you know, maybe, yeah, go do, try something else. Um, but it's not, that's not true. It's not true. Sometimes you're exactly where you need to be and you're exactly where God has called you to be. And it won't be easy. And that, that goes for everything, right? That goes for your marriage, that goes for business, that goes for relationships that, you know, I mean, obviously, obviously there are, there are limits to everything, but like, this is a, this is a business. Like this is not going to necessarily be easy. You're dealing with people. And, and I did want to say that because um, what we do is all about people. Like we, we work in a people business and, You know, one thing about leadership is that we need to love people well. Leadership is loving people well, okay? Not treating people like a number, not not just managing people and treating people like numbers. You love people well and the numbers will take care of themselves. You have to love people well. And that's something that, um, like I love that I do this business literally with my best friends. Like I sometimes pinch myself because I cannot believe that I get to do this with my best friends, that I have the best people on my team. Like I, I'm like, I can't, I can't even, I can't even believe it, but it's, it's our relationship, you know, uh, both, both my amazing, um, runners now, Stephanie's a Ruby and Kylie's a senior Ruby. Like we have been friends for years. And it's just so awesome that, that God would, would work it out like this, but, um, but just really embrace that we are in a people business and we have to love people. Well, um, we, um, taking this posture of taking care of our people and loving them well, takes us to this higher level of leadership that we could, we can never imagine. Um, but what is your posture? That's something that I want to also bring up tonight. What is your posture? In December, I felt like something bubbling inside of me, you know, and I, I went to the Lord about it and I can say that I heard from God and I don't know how, how everyone hears from God, but to me, it's just like a little intuition, a little gut feeling. And then I pray about it. And then I keep feeling that thing. Um, and then I know like, okay, this is not just me. This is, this is something that I need to dive deeper into. And the Lord, I felt really told me that this was the year 2022 was a year of my harvest. And this was in December. And I was like, okay, cool. And so I I decided to posture myself, right? Posturing myself as this is the year of my harvest. This is, this is the year that I'm, that I'm going to do the things that I've been wanting to do. This is the year. And I started going to the sauna in December, (laughs) late December. And I would just go in the sauna and I would posture myself. And I would say, I receive the blessings of God over my life. I receive it. It is my birthright to receive the blessings of God over and in my life. And, um, and I did that every single day. I would go in there after my workout and I would go in there every single day. This is my birthright. And I just like, it was like, I, because of who I am and the worth that I have, I am able to say that success is mine that it that wealth is not a bad word right because remember i was telling you guys about you know the poverty mind work poverty mindset work that i've had to do um in this business that's why i'm so grateful uh, for this business because i would have i would have not been digging deeper if it weren't for this business and so what is your posture when I, I, and I, my birthday's in January. And so um, I went out with a few of my girlfriends and I was just sharing with them like, man, 32, I've just never felt this hole in my life. I've never felt this hole. Like I, you know, I've been doing the work and I just feel whole. And I just felt like that was, that was a moment for me, you know, like this, this wholeness, this feeling of wholeness. So if I can encourage anyone, it's to pursue that wholeness, right? to pursue that, whatever that looks like for you, only, you know, the areas in your life that need work. Um, and if you don't know, ask your upline, ask your husband, 
ask your best friend um, because they'll they they can they will tell you um, what that looks like for you. But um, I would say abundance is my birthright. That was my posture. Um, I was conquering poverty mindset, and I really felt. And it's funny because even in February. And I feel like I'm still processing a lot of this because uh, it was just a week ago. <laughs> um, but I will say this, I, I felt it was in, a, I, my goal was to go Emerald this month, March. That was my goal. Um, I was like, I'm going to, I'm just going to work hard. Feb, I'm going to go hard February and March is going to be my month. And then it was February 11th. And I was just like, wait, I ran my numbers and I immediately, I called Natalie and I'm like, I think it's going to happen this month. I just, I just feel like it's going to happen. And we ran all the numbers. I'm not a numbers person, but I was like, I just feel it. Like, this is something that's going to happen this month. And we went above Emerald. Like it was just like insane. So I didn't even go into February thinking that, um, it was going to be my Emerald month. So I'm still processing all of this. Um, I've cried so many times just thinking about thinking about this, because like I said, I, I had planned this for this month. Um, but I do want to share a few tips. Um, and I, I, and I want to share this because I know sometimes it's, it's so discouraging because I've been doing this for a long time. I've been doing this for over five years. Okay. I started this business when my, I, he was an infant. I started because I needed help. I needed, pro, I needed the products because I was not feeling myself. So I started this business in like when we started a family, right? Like I was figuring out how to be a mom. I, you know, I just, was figuring everything out and then you figure everything out. And then I got pregnant again. <laughs> and then I just, I, I would get pregnant, have these babies. And I was just so grateful that I could still bring my business with me. I remember one time I was in labor with Ezra and I was like getting paid. And I was just like, this is insane. What a blessing, you know? And so I've always believed in this business. Um, it was just, like I said, it was just a matter of timing. And even last year, um, you know, I had a very traumatic miscarriage and I was like, oh my gosh, like I just wanted to, you know, crawl into a hole and just, and, but I, but this community and having this, you know, like these, like you guys, my team, Natalie, like having these people still believe in me and, you know, it's okay. Like we can, you know, we can, cause you know, I worried about my business, right? Anything, anytime something like big happen in my life. I was just like, Oh my gosh, how am I going to, how am I going to do this? You know, but we got through it. And that's the beauty of this business is that you can, you can bring it with you in every transition in your life. We've had so many transitions the last five and a half years, my husband and I, we have done mission work overseas. We've um, moved twice um, all while doing this business. So I just want to like you know, like I said, my, my purpose for this call is that you would just leave here feeling full of hope because I am not like this overnight success. You know, it's taking, it's taken f f five and a half years, you know, for me to be where I am right now. And so it's been a, it's been a long process, but I'm, I'm so grateful for it. I'm so grateful for it. Okay. Tip number one, never stop planting seeds, never stop planting seeds because you never know when it's going to be that time for your harvest. And so planting seed, what does that look like? That looks like literally loving people, loving people. If you see that they need the products, you tell them about the products. If you see them and you're like, you have to do this business with me, it's not giving up on those people. Okay. I've been told no many times. <laughs> um, and those people are now on my team. And so it's just like loving people well, whether they do the business or they don't do the business, just loving people well and never stop planting seeds. Um, lead from a place of love and excellence. Um, do the personal development. Like when we say that, we're not just saying that. Like, like I said, you know, last year was literally all about inner healing for me. I did so much inner healing. Like it was intense, 
but it was necessary. I read the books. I did the things. So I just, I know that you, you probably hear that all the time. Like, oh, just do the personal development, read this book and read that. But really like read it from this place of truly wanting to receive the content that's in the book. Because I think sometimes we might just read through books, but truly letting the book impart that what you're reading into your life and applying it. Um, ask your team questions. Like if you have a team, talk to them, ask them questions. Um, I think this is really, really important. You know, um, what can I do to make next month more successful for you? Right. Because when I when I was asking my team for their goals last month, I, and I saw what everybody wanted to do last month, I was like, oh, oh, wow. Yeah, we can, I, I can go for Emerald this month because I was so focused on what their goals were. And I was asking everybody, I didn't care what level you were on. Like, um, I was asking everybody, what are your goals? What do you want to do? What do you want to see yourself next month? And when I got everybody's answer, it just made sense to go for it. You know what I mean? Like, because I was figuring out what everybody, where everybody wanted to be, where does everybody want to go on my team that is working this business? And that really is what can really transform a team. Um, and then empowering them, encouraging them through that process, not just finding out what their goal is, but walking that out with them, you know, um, being there. Um, I remember, you know, um, even Sabrina Clark, you know, it was 1159. Boom, she hit Ruby, you know, I could not go to sleep that night unless she hit Ruby. Like there was just, there was just no way. Um, and so having that level of commitment for your people, it's going to show your people that you are for them, that you are with them. It is not about your numbers. It's about them. And it is about us growing collectively as a team. We all, we, we go higher when we all go together. And so um, that was just something that um, I wanted to put in there, but um, you know, asking, asking and, and getting those faith action steps, right? Because I, for me, like, you know, this empty frame, you know, this is a, this was an act of faith, right? Like do the acts of faith that can help you envision where you want to be. Where do you want to be? <laughs> you know, if you want to go Ruby, um, go ahead and, um, go ahead and like do something like this. You know, um, I got a green chair in my office last summer because I was thinking about Emerald. And so what are some steps that you can take tomorrow morning or even tonight um, to, to really activate that faith for you? Um, and, and I wanted to end with this. Comparison is something that, um, I've had to overcome. I've done this business for five and a half years and I've seen girls from other teams promote, like they, they've been Emerald or now they're Sapphire, you know? And so this is something that I've had to overcome very early in my business. Um, they say, you know, comparison, you know, will steal your joy. It, let me tell you something. It'll steal more than that. It'll steal um, your calling. It'll steal your purpose. It doesn't just stop at joy. <laughs> Like comparison will continue to steal from you. And so always remember that. And that's why that's what I said in 2020, you know, I had on my phone, I literally had the background on my phone. It said, stay in your own lane, like focus on what you need to do. And so if I can leave you guys with anything, it would be that to stay in your lane, work on yourself build your team when you're looking to your left and you're looking to your right it's only going to distract you if it doesn't build your belief it's not serving you so let it go <laughs> um and that's an area and also celebrate with people celebrate the promotions with people celebrate their wins um it's so important because that's going to be you that's going to be you one day promotions i remember when i i think it was like back when I was gold, I realized that, oh my gosh, promotions are just like, they, they make it possible, right? They like, 
bring this big thing and they, it's like, it becomes down to earth for me. Whenever I see somebody promote, I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, it can happen for me. If it can happen for her, it can happen for me. And so I just want to leave you guys with that, um, to just really focus on the work that you need to do. What is the work that I need to do? And then going, putting it in third, fourth, fifth gear, um, because literally all things are possible. And if you can dream it in your mind, I am a daydreamer and I have a vivid imagination. <laughs> so I've, I've even envisioned this call. I've envisioned this call like two years ago. What would it be like for me to share my story on how I went to Emerald? You know, like I literally envisioned this. And so if I could just leave you with, with anything, it's, it's that to envision this for yourself, stay in your own lane and stay focused and keep planting seeds because you'll reap your harvest too. You will. And don't give up. And I've also said, I'm going to get a sign. Um, I'm going to get a sign soon because um, a big quote um, that I've been um, having with me and it's become like my mantra is don't you want to see what happens when you don't give up and I'm so grateful I didn't give up I'm so grateful because I I wanted to well you know a few times but I didn't because I'm stubborn <laughs> I'm really stubborn and I didn't give up but um I don't want any of you to give up either because if it's possible for me it's possible for you that concludes my call so you can stop recording now <laughs>